Thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. And when you're at the end of the session almost, uh, everything's been spoken. Um, so I'll just be extempore and build upon some of your comments here. But I want to start with saying what a pleasure to reconnect with you. When years ago you were at CDC and I was at Beckton Dickinson, we tried creating a partnership on eliminating hepatitis B, uh, the iatrogenic transmission via injections and blood drawing. But um, today we're talking about uh, eliminating it totally altogether preventing mother to child transmission of hepatitis B. So it's a real pleasure here to represent Chai. Uh, just a quick uh, sound bite if people are not familiar with the Clinton Health Access Initiative. It was established about 20 years ago at a point in time when HIV was a global pandemic. And the work that Chai did with partners um, really enabled um, reduction of prices of antiretrovirals and organized markets, uh, but all through its journey um, over the two decades, Chai has been working with the governments at the center of decision making and driving uh, progress and policy, so to say. But it's fair to say that that work over the years really catalyzed and enabled the PMTCT programs to take off as well, where governments were investing in um, pregnant women being screened and um, with a whole bunch of partners who are around this room, PMTCTs um, happened. Um, so I personally feel that the time is now. Uh, you, you've heard every speaker elegantly state that you have existing mechanisms, systems in place, and perhaps even some political will based on what we heard this morning um, to really tap into that. We're witnessing that with Rwanda close to hepatitis um, uh, C elimination. We're partnering with the Hepatitis Fund to look at uh, prevention of mother-to-child transmission for hepatitis C. Um, so what else has Chai been doing here in the space? Uh, since 2015, we've started a multi-center program uh, working with countries, but more recently just uh, announced a partnership with MedAccess where we brought down the price of HIV and syphilis and HIV self-test uh, test to an accessible level uh, for countries to then um, procure. And we're right now advocating for a triple RDT test that is um, with syphilis, HIV, and hepatitis B. We heard the need for a better diagnosis, a faster diagnosis, and we hope that that test comes to bear um, that becomes more accessible and affordable. Uh, by engagement with suppliers, the price for um, hepatitis B treatment is now $2.40 at the same level as the HIV treatment, and that is a big accomplishment. We also have to commend and applaud the efforts by Global Fund and Gavi. Um, there is new funding through these two organizations, Gavi through its Happy Birth Dose, which we've heard again, and Chai is working with countries in uh, helping governments access this application wherever countries have Gavi eligibility. And uh, similarly with Global Fund um, in pulling together some of these proposals. However, I do think, and I'll build on the earlier speaker's message here, so we need to say there is a need for other donors who are looking at HIV or other global health uh, areas to expand funding because right now we may have, uh, we have the system in place, we have some governments coming to the table, and yesterday I was actually in a session for sepsis where uh, Dr. Johnny Kingasang was speaking, and his comment was the number of deaths no longer um, stir action. Um, you know, you say sepsis, 10 million people die, and if I, AMR, you'll have a death toll by 2050, that is, if you don't, have an action and he's like, just the number of deaths don't still seem to kind of resonate with people. So we need to tell our stories. We need to um, evoke sympathy from the decision makers and policy makers so that funding follows the problem. Otherwise there are so many competing issues. But I do think that time is now and we're talking about elimination for the most vulnerable population, newborn babies and birthing is a joyous moment and we need to make sure that that joy remains and so I, I feel 
uh, strengthening advocacy for mobilizing funding. We were talking about that at our table earlier. The funding is um, the is the need is now because you have everything else ready. There's progress in technology. There's promise of lower diagnostic diagnostic tests. Um, there are systems available, uh, political will, and funders need to come to the table. So with that as um, my message, I really thank you for the invitation and a pleasure to reconnect and be with this audience who's um, making birthing a joyous effort in a way. Thank you.